Hi, my name is Max Neutra, and I'm an artist. I started to see the street as my canvas um, really when I started painting live. Um, when you're painting uh, in front of an audience, it's a bit of a soapbox. You, you have an opportunity to put a message out there and, um, and affect brains. In my early years of painting, I did a lot of live painting around Los Angeles. I painted out on the streets. I painted it live at events, at bars, at clubs, at um, festivals, um, gallery openings, um, pretty much wherever I could set up. I'd, I'd go set up out in front of events that I wasn't invited to. I'd just go set up out front and paint. I was in Barcelona for a thing called Art Battles, uh, where we were painting um, in front of an uh, audience uh, at various malls around Barcelona. And um, I, I had this idea one day to, uh, before the show, uh, paint a bunch of uh, white rabbits on cardboard and cut them out and then use that as kind of an installation addition to what I might paint during the show. Um, you know, maybe tape them up around the stage or tape them up around, around the mall, um, just as some kind of gimmick, really. And uh, we ended up getting rained out, so we went home uh, on the on the train on the subway and I had like you know a stack of these rabbits under my arm and so I started setting them up on the train and taking pictures and and pretty quickly noticed that people were responding to these rabbits people seemed to like them and so I'm setting them up out in the street setting them up you know in train stations and just wherever I had them people would have to weave through them in the street and and we met a lot of people who talked about them a lot and and that was a moment where I knew that the rabbits were something that I wanted to do and uh, more of and take them with me and, um, and, I, and since then I've, I've, I've pretty much every time I travel I bring some rabbits with me and take pictures of them in whatever setting I can find. I'd say that one of the most resonant pieces for me is the bunny explosion on Abikini. There was an artist named Sit uh, that was supposed to do that wall and while he was there doing that wall the owner for the building that was not the, the building that the wall's attached to, but the building next door that the wall's kind of facing. Um, the owner for that building comes out and starts yelling at Sit and, and really just kind of had him shut down the whole operation halfway through, and so Sit never got to finish his piece. So Cave called me up and said, hey, you know, unfortunately Sit didn't get to finish his piece. There's this wall, you know, do you wanna, do you wanna fix it up? And I said, well, yeah, it'd be great, you know. And, and they explained to me, well, there's this guy, and you know, they might not like us, so we gotta do it stealthy. We gotta get there early in the morning on a Saturday and do it as quick as possible. So I said, sure. So we got there at six in the morning on Saturday, and I just got out of the car, I unloaded everything, you know, got the paints out, got the ladder out, climbed up the ladders and started painting as fast as I could, and we were done by noon. And it wasn't until I actually climbed down off the ladder and, uh, and stood back that I realized, you know, how prominent of a wall that is on Abikini. And I was kind of, you know, humbled by the experience and, and kind of glad I didn't know what I was getting into when I first started because I might have been a little nervous about, you know, making something, you know, cool. Working on the streets, I think of it more as a, a painting live. Painting in a situation where you're interfacing with the public absolutely the energy is different from a gallery setting um, I think for obvious reasons I mean you've got people coming up and talking to you and and you can you know you can it's almost like a science experiment you can paint something and then and then you know look and see what the reaction is you know you can almost do it live like what happens if I do this and and uh, and so that's a special that's a special experience in a way I feel like uh, all artists should try to do that at some point in their lives because it's a great way to um, learn about you know how your particular vo you know visual vocabulary resonates with the public versus being holed up in your studio and painting a bunch of stuff and then setting it up and seeing what happens. Um, it's a lot more fun I think to paint something and see what happens as you're painting it. The more that I've learned about my great grandfather. Richard. It, the more I wish that I could have met the guy. I have found that we think about some of the things in, that we work on in similar ways. So, for example, um, he would create these environments, these houses, 
And while he was creating these houses, he was thinking about the way that the environment was affecting the user. He was thinking about, you know, humans and our behavior and what's good for us. I do think about how the work is going to affect people. For example, um, the bunny explosion on, on Abbey Kinney, um, when I first heard that I got that wall, my, my first reaction was to think of something big and bold and, and eye-catching. Let's, you know, let's make the most of this. Let's get as much, you know, exposure out of this as possible. And, and so I was thinking black and red and, you know, something in your face, you know. And, and, and then I thought, you know, that's, that's not cool. I don't want to be the, the, the neighbor that moves in and is loud and obnoxious. I, I want to be the guy that moves in and kind of gets along with everyone else in the neighborhood. That's why I chose that kind of nice soft green background and thought that would go nice with the trees or the plant. The bunnies coming out of the suit uh, represents um, just kind of a... For me, it means a letting go of conformity. It means, you know, kind of coming out of your business suit, coming out of your business brain and, and just uh, being free, really. And I think that there's a lot of young, creative individuals in, in Venice, and so I thought that was a good match for that.